In the event Mr. George Mengi cannot fail to avail himself as ordered above, a warrant of arrest will be issued against him. The warrant of arrest shall be forthwith executed by the Inspector General of Police. The, that the Inspector General of Police fails to execute the warrant of arrest, the same shall remain valid and be executed at any time, including when Mr. George Mengi Kinoti leaves the office of the Director of Criminal Investigations. Those are the orders of this court. Very many of them from the CID came to my home in Mosaiga and uh, persecuted my family for three days. We are coming to an end of this matter. They took away licensed firearms from my home and put out a lot of propaganda that for some reason or another uh, some of us were involved in some illegal activity. This has gone through a process of four years and through various courts we have managed successfully to defeat that persecution. We had been told that the director of CID wanted to appear in camera uh, on a case of which he was sentenced because he has refused to return fines that he took from my home. He was sentenced in February and we were told that he wanted to come for mitigation. For content? For content. Court. We came to attend that mitigation. I wanted to hear myself from the director of CID what he had to say. Mr. Kidonti did not show up. And any matter that was before this court did not have to be in camera, according to my. There was nothing new. Now, we have concluded today. And the judge has said that on November 18th, uh, he shall sentence, give a conviction terms of Mr. Kimoti, which is sought for contempt of court. So on the 18th, we'll be back to hear the sentence that is better to Mr. Kimoti for being in contempt of court. We are very happy with the courts, and we are happy that the course of justice is being followed. And I sincerely plead to all Kenyans, to have more and more faith in the judiciary, 